Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a full review of the Owlet Sock. So if you would like to hear my review, my pros and cons, and my personal experience with the Owlet, please just keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to start off talking about the Owlet, what it is, um, how it works, and then I will go into my pros and cons, and then I will go into my personal experience that I had with Owlet. So let's jump in. So I currently own the Owlet Smart Sock 2. I just want to say that they no longer make this model anymore. They now make the Owlet Smart Sock Generation 3. But Based off of the reviews I have watched and read, the Outlet Smart Sock 2 is very similar to the number 3. So, this video will still be beneficial to you. Okay, so basically Outlet is a device that tracks your baby's heart rate and your baby's oxygen level while they are sleeping. Or you can just put it on them whenever you want their heart rate or oxygen level tracked for a duration of time. It comes with this base station, a charger, and the actual sock. So this is what the outlet sock looks like. Um, the actual monitoring device is inside. This little white thing inside and you can pull it out. And the actual sock that wraps around your baby's foot is this um, um, teal colored band right here. So let me just read some of the features that are on the box. So like I said, it tracks the heart rate and it tracks the oxygen level. It's wireless up to 100 feet. It has a rechargeable battery and you have access to live readings. Meaning while your baby is asleep, you can actually go on the app and find out what their heart rate is, what their oxygen level is, and what it has been. So you can look back at previous readings. It's actually pretty neat. So it's from ages zero to 18 months. It comes with three different size socks and it will tell you when to put the sock on and how much your baby needs to weigh if they need to use this sock versus the next size up sock so that's extremely helpful in deciding what sock would best fit their foot okay. so let's go into my pros and my cons that I have about the outlet sock I'm actually gonna start with the cons only because I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons any day okay. here we go with the pros in no particular order I wish that the Alex sock had a longer battery length. It is good for a full night sleeping at night, but if you want to also have the sock on your baby's foot during the day while they nap, it's like you have to, as soon as they wake up, put it on the charger so it can be ready for their first nap. So it doesn't have like a 24 hour um, battery life, which I think would be a little bit more beneficial if you want to use it for the entire day. So you will need to charge the sock a lot, especially if you're using it at night and for naps during the day. I also wish that it came with more actual socks. I mean more socks, I just mean more of these little pieces that go actually on the baby's foot. Because if you're doing a diaper change and the baby's foot is flailing around and say like poop gets on it or something, you just have to wipe it off and then give it back to them. You can't actually do a heavy duty washing because there's no additional spare socks. So I do wish it came with more socks. Maybe you can buy them, I have to look into that, but I wish that the packaging came with more socks. I also do not like that when your baby is moving around, it does not track anything. It'll have a little signal up on the screen that says wiggling, which means that your baby's moving and it's not gonna track anything. So if my baby is sleeping in the swing, it actually doesn't track heart rate or oxygen level because the motion of the swing tells them that my baby is moving, so it doesn't track when they're moving. I have actually read reviews on the Generation 3, and apparently the Generation 3 is a lot better at tracking heart and oxygen levels while the baby is moving. So that is something to look forward to for Generation 3. I might actually look into getting number 3. Also, another con is the price. It is pricey. It runs you about $300. I think it's worth it once you hear the pros to it. I just, 
I swear by the outlet. You So you already know my review. This is a positive review. I'm not sponsored by outlet or anything. I just am a parent that loves it. But it is pricey. Also, it does connect to the Wi-Fi. So if your Wi-Fi is out or if you don't have Wi-Fi, it's not going to work. The base station and the sock need to talk to each other. So they use Wi-Fi in order to talk to each other. Moving on to my pros, like I said, I have five pros, but in my opinion, they definitely outweigh any of the cons. So the first pro is the sock is soft and lightweight, meaning that your baby's not really bothered by it. It doesn't affect them. It's not itchy. My son's skin hasn't broken out where he wears the sock. It's good quality, and I just like how the overall sock fits on my baby's foot. So my pro number two is it tracks the heart rate and the oxygen level. Guys, I know I've said that a million times and you already know that that's what the outlet does, but that is amazing in and of itself. You don't have to worry about, is my baby breathing at night? Because the outlet will tell you if they're breathing at night, if their heart rate is in a good um, range, if their oxygen level is in a good range. Right there, I think that's, that's that sold me on it because I don't have to lose sleep over like, is my baby breathing? I don't wanna go to sleep because I wanna be there for them. This is there for them and I'm telling you, it is amazing. Okay, so moving on from this being there for them, Another one of my pros is that the alarm when something is wrong, when an oxygen or a heart rate level is out of range, the alarm is loud and it connects to your phone. So if your baby is sleeping in their room and they have the outlet sock on in their room, your phone will alarm next to you like in the room that you're in and it will tell you that, hey, your baby's oxygen and heart rate level are not in a healthy range, go check on them. I'm telling you, I have such a better night's sleep knowing that um, my baby is breathing at a healthy level and that their heart and oxygen level are in a good range. So my next pro is, oh, well I kinda already said it. I said that it connects to your phone. I do like that it connects to your phone so you don't have to worry about um, oh, the baby has to be sleeping in the room with me in order for me to hear the alarm. The alarm will in fact sound on your phone. My last pro is that the alarm will sound when the sock is out of place or off of your baby's foot. So my son has never kicked it completely off of his foot, but he has wiggled his foot around enough for it to be unaligned. So when it's unaligned, of course, it's not going to track heart or oxygen levels. So when it's unaligned, it sends an alarm so that you can fix it so that it can go back to tracking, which I think is awesome. There you have it. Those are my pros. Those are my cons. You tell me if you think that the pros outweigh the cons, do you think that the outlet would be beneficial to you in your household? I honestly recommend it for any first time parent, number one, or just any parent in general that is going to be worried about their child's breathing in the middle of the night, which I guarantee you is like 99% of parents. <laughs> we all worry about our child's breathing at night, especially when they're little, little and brand new because they're still regulating their breathing. They're still regulating their heart rate. They're still getting used to the world. Of course, a parent is worried about one of those two things stopping or going outside of healthy limits and healthy ranges. Outlet will give you the peace of mind you need to have a good night of sleep. I highly, highly recommend. So let me tell you about my personal experience with the Outlet. Now, I do wanna start by saying that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I don't know any of the science behind any of this technology. I'm just a parent who uses it, who sees, who did reviews, and that's it. Just a parent. <laughs> I'm not a medical profession. So here's my personal experience with Outlet. When we brought my son home from the hospital, he was a C-section baby, so he had a lot of mucus, a lot of congestion, a lot of phlegm coming up, and you would constantly hear him like choking on it, coughing on it, or like spitting it up. So the first couple weeks, we actually got several low oxygen levels. Now, I don't know if the two kind of go hand in hand. Like I said, I'm not a medical profession, 
but I do know that the sock was in the perfect place because I checked it to make sure it was in the perfect place. I went down the list of reasons why he could possibly have a false reading and none of those matched up. So I'm under the impression that his oxygen level was actually low. I honestly don't know if Outlet wasn't there. I don't know what would have happened. I don't know if this video would have been different or what. Like I said, I'm not a medical profession. I have no idea if it was a false reading or if it was true. All I know is I swear by Outlet. I'm thankful for Outlet and I will recommend it to any parent. Honestly, not, not any stipulations. I would recommend it to any parent because having that peace of mind is what you need in order to have a good night of sleep. And sleep is so important when you can get it. So that is my review on Outlet. Again, that's, these are my personal opinions, my personal views. I know everyone has their own views about it. I love Outlet. I'm here for Outlet and I definitely want to get Generation 3. If you are still watching this video, you are awesome. I thank you for the support. I hope you enjoyed my review and I hope it made you decide what you want to get if you want to get the Outlet or not. Please like this video, leave a comment, and let me know that you are watching let me know if you got it if you have any testimonies to tell about outlet I would love to hear them and I will see you guys in the next video bye